Hello friends, today we are going to learn SHLD address instruction of 8085 microprocessor. Here in SHLD, S stands for store, H is HL pair and D stands for direct. So store, HL pair, direct. So whatever value HL is holding, its content will get loaded on these addresses so let's take example to understand this instruction suppose instruction is shld 2093h 2093h so before execution we should know the content of l register and content of h register so suppose content of l is 22h and content of h is 33h so these are our before execution content. Now these content will get copied inside the memory location. We will check two consecutive memory location 2093H and 2094H. So content of L register will get copied on given memory location which is 2093. So after execution, this 22 of L will get copied on 2093. Therefore, content of 2093 location will become 22H and the content of H register which is 33 will get copied on 2094. So 2094H will become 33H. So this is the simple use of HL, SHLD instruction. The content of L will get copied on given address and the content of H will get copied on next address. Now, let's talk about format of this instruction. What happens exactly in this instruction? So, in this instruction, simply we copy the content of L to given address and content of H on next address. Next address means previous address plus 1. So this is going to be format of SHLD instruction. Now let's talk about addressing mode of this instruction. So for addressing mode, let's write instruction SHLD 5053H. Now in this instruction, opcode is SHLD operand is 5053 so this 5053 is address so whenever our operand is address then its addressing mode is going to be direct addressing mode its addressing mode will be direct addressing mode then we will talk about how many byte instruction it is suppose another instruction is shld 7525h so in this instruction, we will say that SHLD will have its own opcode which will be of first byte, 75H will be second byte and 25H will be third byte. So this SHLD address is three byte instruction. Simply we can remember in this way, if four digit number given in instruction, then it is a three byte instruction. Then for this instruction, we will talk about group. What is group of this instruction? Now, what is happening over here? We are transferring the content of registers to memory. That's why this instruction belongs to data transfer group. And finally, we will talk about how many flags this instruction is going to affect. And since we are not modifying accumulator, that's why flags will not get affected. In general, we will say that data transfer instruction doesn't affect the flag and this instruction belongs to data transfer group therefore we may say that this instruction will not affect any flag let's take one more example to understand it suppose instruction is s h l d 91952h 1952h so what we will check before execution before execution, we will check the value of L and value of H. Suppose it is 
eleven h and it is ten h. So what will happen? The content of L will get copied on given address on nineteen fifty two, and the content of H will get copied on next address, which is nineteen fifty three H. Therefore, after execution, the content of nineteen fifty two H will become eleven H, and content of nineteen fifty Fifty three H will become ten H. Thank you.